Greetings YouTube, Simon here, welcome to another Final Fantasy VIII Remastered Guide video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your hand on the Rosetta Stone. In fact, not just one, you can use this method to get as many as you want, at least up to 100 which is the most amount of items you can hold at any one time. Now, I will be honest, this is not my method, this is not my strategy, this has been used by pretty much Final Fantasy VIII players since the dawn of time. Well, at least since Final Fantasy VIII first came out, but it still works very much so in the remastered mastered version and hey there's probably many of you out there that don't know about it still so hopefully after the end of this video you will do now what the rosetta stone does is teach a guardian force the ability times for ability so if i go ahead and give this to siren then uh who has siren that would be renoa in my case if we go down to junction you can see that renoa now has the ability to have four abilities and since abilities are very powerful in final fantasy 8 that's definitely a good thing. Now, it is worth noting that if you collect all Guardian Forces, then by the end of the game, you will naturally have three Guardian Forces with ability times four anyhow. But these Rosetta Stones are very easy to come by, and it's the only way to get ability times four this early on at the start of Disc 2. So hopefully this video will help you. As always, a huge thank you to those who support me as a YouTube member or Patreon. And let's get started with the episode. So, in order to do this method, you need to have reached the D District Prism, which is the very first dungeon at the start of Disc 2. And once you have free reign of the dungeon, uh, you can go ahead and make your way to Floor 10. I'll just show you where I am here. Okay, we're in the left-hand door on Floor 10. And there's a save point inside. Uh, this is the closest save point that will take us to where we need to be. And what you're going to want to do is turn on no battle encounters, either through the remastered toggle or through Diablos' encounter non-ability. Uh, either will work absolutely fine. And then we need to path our way very quickly to floor 11 and the same room in floor 11 where we'll find the card player that we need to battle. Now, we do need to get there quickly or the RNG is not going to be in our favour. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the game. Uh, that will reset the RNG for us and we're going to reload the save game and start moving immediately. So follow my path and immediately we make our way out, up the stairs. You want to start moving to the next area before the screen's even loaded. So make sure you just get used to the pathing. Oh, we need to put on no battle encounters. Uh, if you have a random encounter, it's going to mess up the RNG for you big time. See how I got caught there? That means I probably need to reload. Even a little catch there on the side of the wall is going to be enough to just keep you in the area a little bit longer than you need to be so it can take just a little bit of practice so turn on that no battle encounters move up to the next area start moving while the screen's loading we're on floor 11 this is the floor that we need to be on uh, this time i'll try not to get caught Okay, looks like that was a nice smooth run. And then once you're on this screen, just start uh, pressing up straight away through that transition. And then that'll bring you into this room with the dude that we need to speak to. Now, you're going to select the option to play cards with him, but you're going to refuse. As a matter of fact, you're going to do that 54 times in total. So I'll go ahead and do that another 53 times. Okay, and so now we're ready. Once we've gone ahead and done it 54 times, the 55th time will be the time we play him and we have to beat him. Now, if you've been following my guide, then you can see that you should have a ton of awesome cards, which means that this match should pretty much be a formality by this point in the game. If not, then you might struggle with this, but hopefully that won't be the case. So we're just going to go ahead and beat this guy. That's all we need to do now. And if we've timed everything correctly, then as we go ahead and collect our reward from him, it should be the beautiful item that is the Rosetta Stone. Now, as a side note, one, he can offer multiple items, this guy, depending on whether RNG falls, the random numbers, when you uh, go ahead and collect the reward from him. But if you get a potion, then that means that you were very close to a Rosetta Stone in the RNG, but you weren't quite there, which probably means your timing was off when you was running through the corridors. So reload that save, and try again uh, if you just can't get it then try uh, rejecting his offer 52 or 53 times instead of 54 or maybe 55 or 56 times but look we got it so you know that's showing you how you can do it it does definitely work 
This is the remastered version of the game. This has, as I say, been a method that gamers have been using in Final Fantasy VIII since pretty much the game first came out many, many years ago, and we still continue to do so. Alright then folks, well I hope this video helped you, you can go back and save if you want to repeat the process, you can get as many as you want before you move on from this area, and this is a simple way to get them, especially when you can get the timing right, but if you enjoyed the video don't forget to leave a like, make sure you stick around, I've got a whole ton of Final Fantasy content on the channel for you to check out, have a great day, and I'll see you next time, goodbye. <laughs>